question. Do you like yourself? Some of you are watching this and you're Christians and you're conservative Christians and you immediately went to a psychological framework and concern. And I understand that. Um, but the Bible says in Psalm 139, 14, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So let me ask you a question again. Do you like yourself? You know what made me think of this? Um, you know I like to watch biographies on TV. I like Oprah's life class, so I'm, I'm into watching those. And I watched Morgan Freeman's. I need to finish that one, it was good, I got cut off. But I watched the one on Lionel Richie. And Lionel Richie made the statement that he came to a point in his life where he just had to learn to like himself. And I know that we can go too far with that, and, we can, and we're already incredibly narcissistic as a society, and uh, some of you may be concerned that people are going to get the wrong message. Um, but, you know, sin is about exaggeration and diminishment. I don't want to do either. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. It got me asking myself the question, do I like myself? Like. I know the whole thing, you look yourself in the mirror and you see what? Most people don't look themselves in the mirror and go, man, I'm a beast, man, I'm amazing, wow, 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 let me put my sunglasses on, I'm just so fabulous. Most people when they look in the mirror, they're looking at faults. They know they're going to see faults and they look for faults. As a matter of fact, we have a whole um, health paradigm that's basically built around the, 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 the presupposition, you're jacked up, go to the gym so you can get better, look in the mirror to see if you've gotten better, see that you haven't gotten much better, and see that you're jacked up, so get back in the gym. <laughs> it's like a cycle. Uh, but God says, uh, he is to be praised because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. So let me bring this home. David wrote this psalm, and I would encourage you to read it because it's an amazing psalm, Psalm 139. Brilliant psalm. And I think what we're getting at here, what God's getting at is, um, you know, each and every one of us is so different. God made us different. Some of us are um, incredibly uncomfortable with our nuances. Some of us are, are, are ashamed of the subtleties of our soul. Uh, some of us are fearful that people are going to find out the real us. Some of us are scared of ourselves. Some of us are guilty because of who we are and what we do and what we don't do. And there is a place for restoration and reconciliation and repentance and, and clarity and humility and asking God to expose us so that we can grow into his likeness, but there's also a place to say, hold up a minute, God is to be praised because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And I don't want the exaggerated kind of pop R&B, I'm everything and the universe revolves around me, but neither do I want the satanic, you're nothing, you never have been, you never will be. Both of those are, are extremes. What I want is the ability to be able to look at myself in the mirror and to hear myself talk and to see myself do the things that I believe God created me to do and to praise God and say, thank you, God, for making me me. There's no other me. What about you? Can you say that? Can you say I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made? Or can you not even say that because you're thinking, I'm fat, I'm skinny, I'm this, I haven't arrived at my goals. That's a creation-based statement. When God made you, he saw you as beautiful and lovely. And throughout all your life, that's been a major theme and a message he's trying to communicate to you. It's about time that we recognize that. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Sometimes it's easy for us to look at creation and see beauty and amazement, but we are the pinnacle of 
God's creation. Not we, you are. I am. So I'll ask you again, what do you think about yourself? And is your view of yourself God's view of you? May God give us the grace and the humility and anything else we need to pursue a view of ourselves that's in alignment with His. May He get the glory and the praise.